Okay, welcome back to my shop. I'm here with uh, Reese, my niece. That rhymes. Yep. And I found out a couple things as I've been babysitting my niece this summer. One is she likes to clean for some reason. I don't know why, but she does. And I like that. You vacuum my shop, right? Can't argue with that. And you seem to really like my hand planes. Here, try them on an angle, like here, like this. Try that. And that also surprised me. Um, I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. So we decided we're going to make a little plane. We're going to make a little wooden plane. I went out. Um, this isn't a fancy blade. Um, this is a, a Buck Brothers blade. I got it at Home Depot. Um, but we'll sharpen it up. We'll see how it does. Um, it's actually thicker than I really thought a, a plain blade like that. It's thicker than a, a old Stanley. So, um, but we'll sharpen that up. Um, but we're going to take a couple of these woods, right? And we're going to sandwich them with some veneers. I've watched a bunch of videos online. And um, we are going to make, basically, a laminated, um, I guess you say, Kranoff style plane. Um, so I think it's going to be kind of neat. We're going to use a couple different kinds of wood. Um, this is Paduk for the center stripe. We're going to use Paduk. This is a bird's eye maple that I actually got off from the cuts bin. Um, and I think we'll use that. Um, so what I'm probably going to wind up doing is resawing all these over on the bandsaw. Um, so we're, you know what that means, resawing? No. We're going to take this and make it into smaller boards. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get over there and uh, change my blade out, and we're going to start doing that. Okay. center. Now we'll go ahead and we'll uh, plane the maple. Veneered off those two pieces. Go ahead and plane them down. So we'll go over to the planer and we'll, we'll thickness those to the right um, settings. What? I got that on tape. I'll probably put that in the podcast. Goofball. <laughs> okay, you ready? Who are you talking to? I edit that. No one's there to tell you not to. Okay, so we plane some pieces down, and what we're gonna do is we'll we'll dimension them up and glue them, right? Do you like the colors? Mm -hmm. Right, so then we'll have Right? Color, color. Right? So when you look at it, right, it'll actually be sandwiched and it'll kind of look like that. What do you think? Cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, we just got one more piece to plane. That's the rest of the um, bird's eye maple. Um, I'm having you leave the room when I do that because it's messy and loud, right? So, um, we'll do that and then we'll glue it up. We have all our pieces planed. We have our veneer. Um, so basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a couple veneer layers. This is the, this, is, this piece is going to be the center, right? And then... We're going to have these pieces to compile the plane. This piece here, this is going to be the outside of the thing. And this is all going to be the inner workings. Now what I need to do, this plane piece is going to be about this high. So what I want to do... Is rough draw 
in some areas. Over making them a little bigger. So that's for that. And we can cut down these for the sides. Make that bigger. And that a little oversized too. Okay. So then I'll go over to the bandsaw and we'll cut those out. Okay, so cut the pieces down. Middle piece, middle piece. Oh yeah, it's going to kind of be like that. We're also going to put some veneers in. Now I keep this quarter inch piece of ply here because I use it to cut veneer. Um, so what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a couple of these. All right. and I don't really have to be super perfect with it. Because I'm actually... I'm going to clean everything up once it's glued together. All right. So there I have a nice glue up veneer. And what that's going to do is it's just going to give me a little band of white there. And what I'm going to need is four strips of the white. So I'll go ahead and line this up. It's a little oversized, that's fine. Okay. It's two pieces. The veneers are going to add a, a, a thin strip of what almost will look like sort of like a string inlay into this uh, plane. Um, but really it goes all the way through. Um, it's just easier to do it now with veneers. Um, it's all on a couple uh, websites. First thing I did is I sandwiched everything in its order. So I'm just gonna left it. I can flip a piece, add glue, Flip the next piece, add glue, work my way through. Now these two pieces of ply are, are just calls. So I'm going to take some wax. The wax really good. But I'm going to take some extra precaution and put a piece of wax paper down. Take my brush. I like this rocker glue brush. It, it spreads a nice even coat. We're gonna let that uh, cure least overnight um, probably won't open it up till tomorrow okay so we're well on our way to making one of these right with block clean out of wood with pretty colors um, how about we let the glue dry on it for a while maybe we'll go play some Wii or something and then we'll come back um, when the glue dries okay so we went ahead and we let this glue up for I think about 32 hours or so. So it's been gluing up for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and take the clamps off, okay? Wanna help with that? Sure. Start unscrewing. Oh, it's dried, it's just, it's stuck to the wood. I hope we can get it off. Okay. Be careful.
we're stuck to the call here, so I'm a little worried. Cut it off the oh, there we go. So there's our blank. All right, we got all the colors and all the things. We're gonna go ahead and clean this up, um, and then I'm gonna run it through the planer to make it nice and even. What plane number this is? Mm -mm. That's the number five. Okay, so remember, like when you use the lock, the block plane, you you like this one too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like my favorite. you don't just go down. I was just doing that. Yep, and you're just gonna go lightly, very lightly across. Okay, and keep keep going ahead and doing that. Start all the way back. So yeah, there you go. What did I tell you about the weight? Remember? Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Okay, keep doing that. Lift it all the way up. Okay, now I'm gonna put that down and you can use this clean to get some of that stuff down too, see? Since it's slitter there, um, it's like easy to do it down this path, and then it goes all smooth. Mm -hmm. You can use this one too. Go ahead. You can continue. We just want to bring those down. Okay, one of the things I did is I put on my fence, right, and I bought a, one of those Veritas joiner fences, and, yep, it is 90 degrees, so, I've mounted the number five in my bench plane upside down. Slowly shaving. <clears throat> Be nice if I had a shoulder grip would have been done hours ago. Well, not hours ago, but so it looks square. It's square. Okay, Reese is back. Um, she was away for a couple days, and now she's back, and we're gonna go ahead and work on the saw. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and cut angles in this block. I have the block laying on its side with the reference face, which is the bottom, facing my miter gauge, which is set to 50 degrees. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, and cut the blank, um, for the bed angle, which is going to be 50 degrees on this plane. So, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I'm going to put on hearing protection for you and eye protection and have you stand aside. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and, and cut this. Okay, so I, we cut that piece and I marked it just at the top, 50 degree and the bed. That's gonna be the bed angle. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make another cut. This, this cut is around 75 degrees. Um, 
it's not entirely you don't really need to be entirely accurate on this end this is the other end of the mouth where the chips will come up um, you just want enough clearance for the chips to kind of come up um, and what I found online is most people did around 75 degrees um, so that's what I set this for it's my first plane from scratch if I find that's not enough down the road I can make a plane that you know either has a wider opening or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that Now we, we have our, our, our pieces, our four pieces, right?